Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe, and share with your fellow Denarian friends. To help support our channel we now accept tips using the blockchain based Brave Browser and BAT tokens. It makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. To those of you that made a contribution, I sincerely thank you very much. If you have not done so yet, pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner and check out the awesome new Currency Exchange Planner Companion, voted the number one exchange planner in the Dinar community for a reason. Both the links to the powerful secure blockchain Brave browser as well as the Currency Exchange Planner are in the description box below this video. Everyone needs to see, we are getting extremely close to the end of this investment. I am not a date and rate guy, but if I was I would call the week of March 20th a very important week. I have my reasons, and I am not calling the date, and you probably should not be listening to me as my friend Foot Forward would say. Let me just say that date has been brought to my attention a few times in a very short period of time. Just putting that out there, as we appear to be in, what I would call, the perfect storm, with that being said let us get started. First article of interest for today, former minister, Iraqi dinar on the way to float. The former minister, Amr Abdul-Jabbar, confirmed today, Wednesday, that the Iraqi dinar is on the way to floating, in light of the sharp decline in oil prices, while noting that employees should expect that during the coming days their salaries will be deducted. The continuation of monetary policies and the current government in the same context with the sharp decline in oil prices will be catastrophic, and the employee should expect to deduct his salary, perhaps for half, or exchange part of his salary every two months, noting that the next stage may witness reduced employee salaries, deductions and taxes to reduce the budget deficit. He added that the Iraqi dinar is on its way to float, i.e. reduce its value and the Iraqi government may have to increase the exchange rate of the dollar to 12.50 dinars against the dollar to obtain additional funds estimated at 4 trillion dinars in the budget and this matter has advantages because it will allow encouraging the national industry because it will raise the value imported goods and makes domestic competitive. He added, We are afraid of a government decision to reduce the price of the dinar against the dollar to 1300 or 1350 in the event that the drop in oil prices is catastrophic. This float will cause the price of commodities to rise and burden the citizens. The state may use it to reduce the budget deficit. Abdul Jabbar continued. The government's decision to place customs and other exemptions to remove visa amounts with some neighboring countries has harmed Iraq and contributed to preventing the entry of important revenues to the state, noting that, since 2018, he warned of low oil prices in 2020. He pointed out that, the advisory base available to the Prime Minister is not qualified to deal with major crises, especially those related to low oil prices. He added that, the current advisors are friends of the Prime Minister, one of them told me, whoever understands his work with specialists will not enable him to reach the Prime Minister, because it will take the place of others. And Abdul Jabbar said, the recent appointments made by the Prime Minister killed the state and burdened its finances, and there is a 200 square meter department with 270 employees. Next article of interest. Iraq's finance suffocates. Oil prices fell until the price of Brent barrels today, $36.4. According to the Iraqi economic data, this rapid decline has serious repercussions, which strongly affect the standard of living of the citizens. As a result of the coronavirus outbreak, Chinese oil demand decreased and growth fell in all countries. To avoid falling prices, the crude exporting countries are trying to reduce production, but the recent meeting of OPEC Plus scored a catastrophic failure due to Russia's refusal to reduce production, which angered Saudi Arabia, which decided to increase the supply, and prices fell quickly. This explains the decline in values in the financial markets. The crisis is acute. Iraq's draft budget for 2020 depends on calculating oil revenues based on the price of $54 a barrel. 
It is also expected to export 3.88 million barrels per day, and organized a deficit of 50 trillion dinars, or $42.3 billion. To know the danger of falling prices, the following question must be asked. What is the price that balances the Iraqi budget? The following formula is established. The amount of the fiscal deficit divided by barrels issued per year, plus the price of a barrel in the budget. The result was $85.8 a barrel. That is, the difference between this amount and the actual price is $49.4. This figure is massive and unprecedented, and reflects the weight of the crisis. But this account needs to be improved by dividing Iraqi oil exports into five sections. The first section, central government exports of 3.63 million barrels per day. And the second section, the central government's share of Kurdistan's oil, of 250,000 barrels per day. And the third section is oil smuggled from Kurdistan. And the fourth section is oil smuggled from the south. The fifth section is Iranian oil that passes through Iraq and which is exported as Iraqi oil. The state's budget for its oil revenues is estimated by adding the first and second sections, i.e., 3.88 million barrels per day. In practice, the central government does not receive the Kurdish share. On this basis, the actual volume of exports is 3.63 million barrels per day. Thus, the financial deficit is not 50 trillion dinars, but 56 trillion dinars. That is, for the budget to balance, the price of a barrel should be $89.7. This is much more than double the actual price. But suppose that the central government gets its share from the Kurdistan region. In this case, according to the budget accounts for 2020, 3.88 million barrels per day at $54 a barrel, the total annual revenue for oil will be $76.4 billion. As Brent has fallen to $36.4, the total revenue will be $51.5 billion. Here, too. Some adjustments should be made to this figure. Because the oils of Iraq are mostly less dense and contain a higher percentage of sulfur compared to the Brent mixture. Thus it is cheaper than this mix. The above revenue is gross, not net. As many expenses must be raised, foremost among which are the dues of oil companies. In addition, falling prices, regardless of Saudi Arabia's role, depend on the corona pandemic. Prices may go back up. However, it may continue to decline, according to some estimates, to less than $20 per barrel. Then Iraq's internal and external finances will suffocate. Serious fallout. Oil countries will be affected by the collapse in oil prices. But the damage to Iraq will be greater and more dangerous, given the position of oil revenues in the country's economy. 1. High public debt. The internal and external debt service annuities and annual interest, is 10.7 trillion dinars, or 9 billion dollars. It will not be possible to meet them this year. Consequently, the debt accumulates and the state is forced to resort to external loans to finance the deficit. 2. Low salaries. Most of the public spending is allocated to salaries. Because of declining oil revenues, salaries will be reduced in many ways, including direct deduction which was known in previous years. 7 million citizens who receive their salaries from the state will be affected. Not to mention the families who depend on these salaries. The negative effect will increase as the amounts decrease. In other words, the person with a low salary will be affected more severely than the person with a higher salary. 3. Increasing taxes. In the 2019 budget, non-oil revenue was 11% of total revenue. Most of it comes from direct and indirect taxes, including customs duties. And due to the drop in oil prices, the public authorities will find no reason to increase the tax burden in the current year. While sound tax policy requires the exact opposite, deflation requires tax exemptions to trigger productive and service activities. Increasing taxes, then, will have a negative impact on the basically lower standard of living of citizens. 4. Resorting to money. The country tried to avoid new monetary issues, printing money, to finance the fiscal deficit. 
but the magnitude of the crisis caused by the deterioration of oil prices will make it compelled to rely on this cash source. This situation will lead to higher inflation and a lower exchange rate of the dinar against other currencies. What is going on in Iran years ago will be repeated from this angle in Iraq. 5. Aiding Iran As a result of its submission to Iranian political will, Iraq will continue to provide financial support to Iran. The fall in oil prices coinciding with the U.S. sanctions will lead to a new crisis for the Iranian economy. The more Iranian problems, the lower the financial situation in Iraq. 6. The deterioration of foreign finance. The risk of declining revenue will not only be on the public budget, but also on the trade balance. It is not surprising that he recorded a deficit this year, especially since oil exports represent 99.1 of the country's total exports. It is the highest rate recorded in the region. This situation has several negative consequences. Imports will shrink, and consumer prices, including those essential to living, will rise, and the faltering investment process will be delayed mainly. The size of the cash reserve will decrease, and the state's financial capacity will decrease. The deterioration of the trade balance will be reflected in the other accounts of the balance of payments, services, income and capital. Interacting with monetary issues will lead to a significant decline in the exchange rate of the dinar. Falling prices are a blessing, too. The peculiarity of Iraq is the presence of public expenditures that must be dispensed with entirely, due to their lack of usefulness but because they are harmful in several respects. In the forefront of it is the largest portion of military and security spending, all credits granted to the popular crowd, endowment bodies, and Kurdistan's share of public spending. Add to this the widespread financial corruption that passes through public expenditures. If the spending policy was sound, a severe bottleneck would not have occurred due to the drop in oil prices. High crude prices lead to rewarding returns that do not encourage efforts to diversify income sources, especially in a country governed by a failed economic policy, such as Iraq. While falling prices represent a key lesson and factor for addressing rentierism and thus improving local agricultural and industrial production, then more taxes can be imposed to finance public spending without adversely affecting the standard of living of citizens especially if the tax system is based on the principles of fairness and the distribution of public burdens and on the requirements of economic development. As for the concepts adopted since the occupation, a sound financial policy based on the efforts of citizens cannot be derived from it, but will continue to depend on the nature's gifts to the country. On the other hand, aspects of the political crisis in the region are caused by high oil prices. For example, Iranian interference, especially in Iraq, Syria and Yemen. A drop in the price of a barrel to less than $15 will ensure the severity of this crisis. From this side, Saudi Arabia has corrected mistakes that lasted for several decades. She adopted a sound oil policy. It became necessary to implement a new financial policy that fights corruption and is consistent with the aspirations of citizens which were genuinely expressed by the popular movement, public expenditures that are decided only for the public good and diversified public revenues resulting from industrial and agricultural progress. Next article of interest. Iraq is able to cope with the financial crisis. Specialists in the economic affairs confirmed that the central bank is able to support the Iraqi economy in the face of the financial crisis especially after the central bank announced the growth of foreign reserves for the year 2019 by 5.52 percent from what it was in 2018. The performance of the central bank in terms of reserves and foreign exchange is positive and will be reflected positively on the economic situation in the country, said the economist, Manifal Sayeg. Face the conditions. In his speech to Al Sabah, Al Sayeg said that the conditions that Iraq is going through must be faced with a drop in oil prices and the global crisis due to the spread of coronavirus, adding that the link between the central bank and state institutions appears when the country is going through a financial crisis as happened in the events of the year 2014, as he financed the government with cash as an internal debt. He explained, 
it is possible to benefit from the current performance of the central bank in this direction, especially since the country is currently at the heart of the financial crisis in light of these conditions, stressing the independence of the central bank, which is not far from the financial and economic performance of the state in terms of the bank's performance in managing cash. He focused on the existence of cooperation between the bank and the government on the basis of supporting the latter in the direction that serves the development of the country, sustaining institutional work and developing an alternative plan in light of the current circumstances. Economic Support In turn, the economic academic, Dr. Esam al-Mahawili, indicated that the more reserves the central bank has, the more support there will be for the economy. Al Mahawili told Al Sabah that it is possible to use part of the reserve to support the operational budget, as well as for lagging projects, as the central bank is the main nerve of the Ministry of Finance, just as any central bank in the world is the pillar of its financial state that it depends on in the face of crises. According to a statement of the central, it was lost. The data of the annual report of foreign reserves showed a positive performance in 2019 compared to 2018, as a result of the increase witnessed by the central bank purchases from the U.S. dollar from the Ministry of Finance compared to its sales through the currency sale window, as well as the profits accrued from the returns of the investment portfolio in its various segments. Investment Portfolios At the level of investment portfolios, its value achieved a net growth in the year 2019 of 18.4% compared to the year 2018, accompanied by a growth of returns on these portfolios in 2019 by 59% compared to 2018, and the ratio of these returns to investment portfolios in 2018 almost 1.7%. While the proportion of returns to investment portfolios in 2019 increased to approximately 2.3%. Gold Reserves He continued as for the gold segment, it grew in the year 2019 by 18.8% .8 compared to 2018, despite the fact that the central's investment in this asset has not increased during this year but the increase in the value of these holdings came as a result of the significant increase witnessed in the global gold price. Iraq is ranked 38th in the world with its gold holdings, and 5th in the Arab world, with a total of 96.3 tons. International Relations As part of this bank's plan to enhance returns on reserves and build capacity in the field of self-reserve reserves, this bank established numerous international banking relations during 2019 and entered into agreements and memoranda of understanding with a number of international banks and major financial institutions, such as the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development and the Arab Monetary Fund, as well as international institutions concerned with investment management. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest are posted. Check out the Denarian blog. Facebook and Twitter for all of today's articles of interest. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner and check out the new Currency Exchange Planner Companion before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, and get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails and they boot up the new quantum financial system on the blockchain. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. The program is made so everyone can afford to save in gold, by offering it one gram at a time. Start saving in a real true asset like gold, it's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. Why do you think all the central banks are loading up on gold lately, and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected. Both of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video, go check them out, knowledge is power. Using that newfound knowledge is powerful. Over and out, for now, the Denarian.